Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate some JavaScript basics that are required for Selenium. So let's get started. So what is this JavaScript and what is the purpose of the JavaScript? Okay, JavaScript makes the HTML dynamic. Okay, the JavaScript makes a html dynamic i'm not going to explain javascript in depth here okay so rather just for selenium purpose whatever the knowledge of javascript is required that i'm going to cover in this session okay so here we need to just understand the purpose of the javascript we don't have to dive deep into the javascript here the purpose of the javascript is to make the html dynamic this much of knowledge is more than enough let me practically show you how the javascript code can make this html kind of dynamic for that, I'll open this notepad plus plus and here first without JavaScript, I'll write some HTML code and show you how that HTML is kind of static. HTML is by default static. It's not dynamic. Okay. I'll show you the static nature of the HTML. So HTML, let me write the code. Already I gave you the basics of HTML in the previous session here in the top. In the beginning of series, some HTML basics I covered with that knowledge. You can understand what I'm typing here or what I'm explaining here. HTML slash HTML and here I'll write down head slash head then here body then slash body in the head I'll give the title slash title I'll say I'll say JS uh, demo JavaScript demo otherwise okay Java script demo but Initially, I'm not going to write any JavaScript code. So far, whatever the code I have written is nothing but the HTML code. Then I'm going to create some elements here inside this some HTML elements. I'm going to create uh, the first one is a paragraph tag. I'm going to create slash P. I'll say my name is Arun Moturi. Okay, this is my name. And under the paragraph tag, I'll create some button. Uh, button say slash button. Okay. So in this button, I'll just give some names like green. Similarly, I'll create few more buttons. Yellow, red, like that, okay? Green, yellow, red, blue kind of buttons I'll create. Now save this. I like to save in one of the location in my machine. I'll choose this, you know, downloads folder. I'll save it here directly. I'll say jsdemo.html, some name and extension I'm giving. And here I have to say all files, all types, save it. So this is got uh, saved. And let me go to the location where it got saved. This is not this normal HTML code, guys. Okay. You see, there is no other code available, only the normal HTML. As I already told you, HTML is by default static. Okay. HTML is by default static. If you open this browser, guys, if you open this browser, so whatever the paragraph I created is coming and whatever the buttons I have created are coming, but this is static. How can I prove that this HTML is static? You see, when I click on the green, but green named button, this particular text is not converting to green color. Okay. Nothing is happening when I click on this button. The button is there. Just it has to be there. That's it. Okay. Because it's static. HTML is not dynamic in nature. HTML is not dynamic in nature. So. You see yellow, red, when I click on any of these buttons, nothing is happening because these elements of this HTML are by default static. So let's say if I want to do something like this, let's say if I click on this green button, this particular text should convert to green color or should be displayed in green color. If I click on the yellow, the text should be displayed in yellow color. Okay. The color of this text should change to yellow color. If I click on red, uh, color of the text should change to red color. If I select uh, blue, the color of this text should change to the blue color. If that is the requirement, then with HTML, I cannot do anything like that. Okay, I cannot solve this requirement with the help of HTML. Rather, I have to go with JavaScript. The JavaScript is the one which makes this a uh, HTML dynamic. Okay, using JavaScript only we can convert the HTML or uh, make the HTML dynamic. Okay, so with the basic HTML code, you cannot do anything. We have to go with the JavaScript code. Okay, JavaScript code to make these things dynamic. So what I have to go do here then? So here, guys. Uh, in the HTML, if I have to mention or write some JavaScript code inside this HTML, right? HTML is provide some tags known as script tags. Script slash script. Okay. These tags belong to HTML only. And uh, they allow you to write some JavaScript code here. 
So first, what I'm going to do here is uh, to make this uh, HTML code kind of dynamic, right? I'm writing some JavaScript code inside the HTML script tags. And here I'm going to create a JavaScript function. In between the script tags, I would write some JavaScript code. So let me write a function. Let me create a function in JavaScript function. Uh, in Python, you know how to create a function and all, but in JavaScript, uh, it looks similar, guys, okay? I don't have to explain you the entire JavaScript here. Just try to understand how the function looks like, uh, looks in JavaScript because you already have idea about uh, Python, right? In this series, you already have some idea about uh, uh, Python and how to create functions in Python and all the stuff. So similarly, in JavaScript also, we can create some functions and uh, the what is the format and all, what is the syntax and all for functions, you just observe here, okay? I'll just give a name like a uh, change color, a user defined function, guys. So you can give any name. I'm just giving that. Give circular brackets, this starting of the function, this ending of the function. And here I need to pass some text uh, color, text color, text color, something like that. I'll pass text color or something. I'll pass. Okay. Some parameter I'm creating. Now in this, I have to write some code before I write some code. So uh, what I want to do here is when I click, when someone clicks on this green button, this function should be called. And here, when you, since you are calling the green button, this button should pass green color, green color to this particular parameter. Okay. Like that, I want to do. How to do that here? I have to say on click. When I, when someone clicks on this button, this is from HTML only. On click uh, attribute is from HTML only. Here I will provide double quotes. In double quotes, I have to call this function. That is change color function I need to call. And provide the circular brackets. Inside the circular brackets, since one parameter is there, I need to pass that, okay? Argument that is, I'll pass uh, green as the argument, okay? So green color will go here. When uh, the function will be called, particular function will be called and green color will be passed when I click on this button. Similarly, when I click on this yellow button, I want yellow color to be passed. Okay. The same function need to be called, but in place of the green color to be passed, yellow color should need to be passed. Okay. Similarly here also, when I click on the red button, I need to pass the red color. Okay. Right. Then here also, when I click on the blue button, I would like to pass blue color. Okay. So if I click on this button, this function will be called and a green color will be passed and are we doing anything with that color and all? No, right? Here, this is what is JavaScript guys. Okay. This is JavaScript. This is all HTML. Okay. And we are calling the JavaScript function from these buttons and all those stuff. But this is what, whatever the code that you are writing in between the script tags is nothing but the JavaScript code. And here, this is how the function in JavaScript looks like. And now when you click on the button, this function will be called, but uh, nothing is going to happen. One thing about the JavaScript is one thing about the JavaScript is JavaScript cannot access the elements on the pages. Okay. JavaScript cannot directly access the elements on the pages. You see, there is there are some buttons on the pages, right? Uh, can directly JavaScript in, uh, interact with these uh, buttons? No. JavaScript cannot directly find these elements on this page or, you know. So in uh, what JavaScript will do is, JavaScript will take the help of something known as DOM statements. There is something known as DOM statements which I'm going to cover in the detail in the next sessions. Okay. Next session, I'm going to cover ja already JavaScript basics. I'm covering here. So next session is all about DOM basics guys. So I'll explain about this DOM statements in the next session, but for now, as an example, I'm going to give one DOM statement. You will try, you will understand. Okay. So JavaScript internally uses DOM statements to access the elements on the pages here. What are the elements I want to interact, interact on this page? JavaScript like to interact with green, yellow, red, blue, but it cannot directly interact. So JavaScript is going to use DOM statements to interact with these elements. So I'll right click here and select inspect, inspect and how to create the DOM statements. I'll show you manually how the, how to create the DOM statements. You have to go to the console tab. Okay. In the console tab here, type down. First of all, for example, if you want to locate this paragraph, let's say I want to locate this paragraph. My name is Arun Motori. Inspect this. So there's no ID, nothing, but paragraph is there. I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll just create some ID here uh, for this para. I'll give some ID so that it will be very easy for us to work on this. I'll give the ID as ABC. Now save this and uh, refresh the page here. Now again, inspect this paragraph. This time we'll get an ID. I'm inspecting and you know, this time we get this particular paragraph as an ID. This ID can be used as a locator, right? Copy this ID, go to the console here, type down. I'll type down a DOM statement that is document dot get type get you'll, you'll get something known as get element by ID. These are all DOM statements. Okay. That JavaScript will internally use to, uh, select the required elements here. I want to select this paragraph on this page. 
So for that, I'm using DOM statement. This DOM statements will be passed to the JavaScript code. So that JavaScript will use this DOM statements to to you know access these elements. Okay, access this paragraph. JavaScript will use this DOM statement. What is the idea of that paragraph? A B C is the idea. I'll give that idea and press enter. Using the paragraph is locating. So this kind of DOM statements JavaScript is going to use. Now copy that and come back here. Uh, where is that code? Sorry. Here, Notepad plus plus. So where where I'm writing this HTML code and all. Here inside this function, I'll write this JavaScript code. Okay. Document dot get element by ID. This is a DOM statement, and along with that, I would say uh, style dot color. Okay. This these are other things. Okay. These are DOM properties. You can say. Okay. These are DOM statements, and these are you know properties. DOM properties. Style dot color is DOM properties. I'll go. I'm going to cover about this style dot color in the next session. Along with the DOM basics, right? I'm going to cover this. Properties also style dot color properties. For now, you just understand that uh, JavaScript internally uses the DOM statements. Okay. Now, what what are the color? What what should be the color of that particular text when I click on this button? When I click on this button, the change color function will be called. This function JavaScript function will be called, and you will pass green, and that green will be that text color. Whatever that is uh, green, pass it to this text color, right? That text color will be assigned here. Means green color will be applied to this element. Okay. So using this element, we are Finding that paragraph to that paragraph, you see DOM dot get element by ID ABC is locating this paragraph to that particular paragraph. We are applying the color, okay? Which color? Green color, okay? And when you click on this button, the same function will be called yellow color will be passed, and that paragraph uh, color will change to yellow color, okay? When you call this button, it will call the same function, but a red color will be passed, and uh, the using the DOM statement, JavaScript will change the color of this paragraph to red color, and final one that is a uh, blue color. Okay, when the same function will be called blue color will be passed and uh, this DOM statement uh, will change the color of this paragraph to blue color like that. Okay, this how the things will be there, guys. Okay, let's save this. Okay, and go back to this and just refresh the page here. Now click on the green. You see the text color got changed to green. Yellow got changed to yellow. Red got changed to red. Blue it got changed to blue. This how the HTML can be. Made dynamic with the help of JavaScript, okay? And JavaScript internally uses DOM statements to interact with these elements or to access these elements. This is somewhat a basics you need to know, guys. Okay? If you know these basics, you are good to go. Okay? This much of basic JavaScript basics is enough for learning, uh, for using in Selenium. Okay? Uh, if you want to know how Selenium uses this JavaScript and all, right? This much of JavaScript basis basic is enough. Okay? For using JavaScript with Selenium. Okay. So here I was telling you one point. I was saying you one point that JavaScript internally uses DOM statements, right? So in this session, I cannot cover the entire DOM statements for you. In the next session, I'm going to cover the complete, uh, I mean, whatever the DOM basics is enough again. You don't have to dig deep into each and everything. So because here we are learning Selenium, we are not learning JavaScript. Here we are not learning Selenium, we are not learning DOM statement, DOM or something, okay? So whatever the uh, knowledge that is required, for Selenium, right? That much only we are going to learn. Whatever the JavaScript knowledge that is required for learning Selenium, that are that only we are going to learn. What are the DOM basic knowledge that is required for learning Selenium? That much only DOM statements we are going to learn. Okay. So this this much of JavaScript is enough for this session, guys. Okay. And uh, this much is required for Selenium also. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.